Okay, we're back. We're going to talk now about the Alber and programming it, entering, and then we'll get to saving a program. If you haven't already, then you need to look at your controls. You've got a set button, a minus, a plus, and a time button. The time button switches you from time to temperature and a couple of other things it does actually. But to put in a program, first you're going to need to turn on your power. And I hope I can get where I can see this while you're seeing it. If you press to enter your program now, press your set button. It comes up C1. You want to set C1 if you want to go for the 190. Go there and then set. That set the temperature to cook at 190. We're telling it right now, we're saying we want to e exit by temperature, but we're going to say for time, hit the minus key, make it come back from temperature to time, and set. That set that part. Right now it's showing six hours. We don't want to do that. I believe in our example we said we were going to cook it two hours. We're going to cook it at that temperature for two hours. We set. Then step two. Remember there's six steps. So now we're on step two. So what are we going to do? We're going to cook at 140. No, I want to go up to uh, I, I'm going to get off of the example on the paper. I'm going to go to cook at uh, 225. That's where I like to cook. Cook at 225. Set. I want to cook that by temperature, so I hit the plus key to tell it fair, that I'm cooking by Fahrenheit. And set that. What degree do I want? I want to go to 198. Set that. C3, I don't want to do anything. C3, C4, C5, C6 are all going to be doing nothing. So I just go set. Takes me to C3. I'll go through them all to make sure that they are clear. C6, all, all are zeros. Now I'm back to monitoring my temperature. Okay, now when I come back, I'm going to show you how to save that program. I'm going to leave it in memory and show you the buttons required to save the program. Be back in a little. Okay, we're going to talk now about saving your programs and if you printed out what I asked you to you've got a copy of this sheet from the website to save and recall and it talks about the working memory and all that give you a lot more insight but what you need to know right now is that when you go to save a program you're going to use a, a passcode of 2 for saving the program, a passcode of uh, 1 to recall. So let me explain what I'm talking about. We set, set a program in here a while ago uh, and we right now it's in working memory. So if I hit the, the set button that pulls up the working memory and shows me what's there. So to save this program, if you hold down this button for two seconds, it'll come up and say lock, L-C-K, zero. Put a two there and hit your set button. It comes up and says save to end 
I don't want to save it to end. I want to select where I save it. So I hit set. I didn't hit it quick enough. Lock to set end B1, B2, C1, C2, F1, F2, P1. I'm cooking pork, so I think I'll save it in P1. So I just hit set. And that program saved in P1. Now, to prove that it is, I'm going to change what's in memory. See, here's our, here's our working memory. I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that 190 down to there and set, set, and E1 exit, was, it was supposed to cook two hours, I'll leave that. Then the step two is supposed to cook at 225. I'm going to change that to cook at 277, set, and all that. C5, C6. Now I'm back. Okay. Now I changed the working memory. To prove that I did, I hit this. Now we're cooking at 134. We're going to cook by time for two hours. Then we're going to change to 277, cook to 198. Okay. Now I want to recall a program. So I'll hold down my set key. It goes to lock. Remember I said one was recall. End. I can scroll through all the memory locations to find what I want to recall. Whoop, I wanted P1. That, remember that's where we saved it a while ago. It was P1. So I hit set. Now that should be up here in, in working memory. So now, see, it says 190 for two hours, 225. 198. So I've got my program recalled. And that's really all there is to it. And you can save through all eight locations. See you next time.